Welcome back to another YouTube video guys. I know I've been posting a lot bro. Just because but my grade at school Clothing brand you can see coming with the zip up. It's a link in the bio and hopefully they're not sold yet so you can get one I've been really active with that but now on my YouTube But I decided to actually do all three on Instagram guys I went to go on my story and I posted like give me questions for a YouTube video guys and all of you guys did And then I'm gonna answer them and let's get this question started I have all the questions right here I'm gonna be answering the more interesting ones and the ones that I like the most So first question is get it out of the way When's my birthday? My birthday is on June 8, 2004 so I'm currently 18 years old Like then when I was little I was like bro I want to be 18, 19 so bad Now that I'm 18, 19 I wish I could be like six and five again i had no responsibilities i just play the game all day now i had to do all this stuff. next question is by marcos and he said when did you start tiktok i started tiktok about two years ago it's been like two years and i've been posting consistently consistent i pretty started doing youtube like a couple of months also actually back then like when i was in seventh grade eighth grade i had an editing account called moody edits i put it up in here i love those but not anymore that died out and i stopped doing that question that i got is by god love louis and he said how was it starting off social media for you i started just for fun then i started seeing followers and followers it was crazy how everything just kept going up and up and up there was times where obviously i would lose followers i would lose views and sometimes i actually wanted to quit there was many times i wanted to quit because like I was losing followers, I was like, my content's boring, this and that. But then I'll still keep posting and I'll post something new and then boom, blow up. And then I'll post something new, blow up again, blow up again, blow up again. So you always have to be changing your content because you can't be doing the same thing over and over again because eventually it's going to get boring. You're going to want to watch the videos again. So you have to do something new every single time. So you got to adapt to what's going on in the world. This question is from underscore... L U one S G T Z. I don't know how to say it. He said, "Did you ever have moments that you gave up on yourself?" There were many times where I didn't want to do social media anymore because, well, I thought like I wasn't good enough, you know, I'm funny enough. I thought I wasn't like a lot of stuff. So there was many times where I was like, "Bro, what's the point of this? Like, do I keep going? Do I stop now?" And there was like one time I was like this close to just like stop posting. I was like, "Nah, bro, I gotta keep going." But there's a reason why I have these followers. Like, there's a reason. So I kept going being consistent and now I am to the point where I'm now because I never give up on myself and I kept being consistent so if you guys ever doubt yourself you think you're not good enough trust me guys just keep posting if you really love it it will happen this question is from YBNG Ali and she said or he said what inspired you to do YouTube what inspired me to do YouTube was I love looking at other people and like them making other people happy you know so I was like what if I can entertain other people and make other people happy it's like motivating other people to want to help people and just make content that people like especially from Z that one of the Z said how do you ask for when you get a haircut I have like three YouTube videos you can click on my profile and you can go look at the videos that I posted I have three tutorials on how to get my hair and I show detail by detail exactly how I do my hair actually I haven't done this hair because that those videos I had an edge up and now currently I don't have an edge up, I have like a messy look. So if you guys want another tutorial on how to do a messy look, like you can see it's messy. It's like I still have like the editor, but like now in the front is messy. So if you guys want to know how to do that, and comment down below if y'all want that video to be posted. The question is from not underscore Natalia66. She said, how tall are you? I'm currently 5'10, 5'11. I don't think I'm a girl anymore, but I'm my height. Like most of the time I'm most of the time I'm taller than most of my friends, most of the people that I talk to because I don't know, I just feel taller and every single time I go past them, I'll be like, yeah, sure. Because, bro, back then, in middle school, starting in high school, I was very, very short. All my friends were taller than me, so they were all making fun of me. I was like, bro, okay. And then, I don't know where, like, in the summer, boom, I started growing out of nowhere. And I went back to school, I was taller than all of them, bro. I was trolling all of them because they're all short. So, if, if you're short right now, trust me, you can get you can get taller, bro. You can get taller if, if you're, like, starting high school. Question is from B... For amp sludge and she said oh he said when did you get your my brother actually did all these so you can see well i should have two but i lost uh one of the earrings and then i have two over here and then i have one up here so i had five well i have four right now but i still have five you know but these four my brother did with just the ears itself we just pierced it through like which is he just boom put it in we didn't use no gun we use no needle nothing just which put it in and you, if you plan to get earrings get gold because then it won't get infected if you use some plastic ones it can get infected that's why i only have gold ones and then this one my cousin did it and when i told you to this day it still hurts bro it still hurts bro she probably went through a, like a vein or something because it still hurts so if you can this do like professionally because i was bleeding and i was crying almost because it hurt so bad getting this one so 
That's why I have. I, that's why I wouldn't get it up here no more because it hurts so bad. I wouldn't want to deal with that pain again. Next question is from four four Christina. She said, "Where were you born and raised?" I was born here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and but my parents are from Mexico. But I lived here and I lived there as well. I lived there for like a year and I did a school over there as well. But then we came back over here and then I've been staying here since then. Since like second grade, I've been here and I haven't gone back to Mexico at all. I really want to go back to it again, like live the moment. This question is from 26.091311. I don't know why as a name. But she asked, if you could see yourself in the past, what would you say? And then I would tell myself is don't be comfortable. Like no matter what, always keep going up. Never stop at the same place and also be confident in myself and stop being lazy bro like that's the one thing that i hate is being lazy because i hate being unproductive i want to be productive i want to do things like i hate just laying down in bed all day all night just playing the game because at the end of the day i'm like damn bro i didn't do nothing the whole day every time i do that i regret it so now every single time every single day i had to do something productive so at the end of the day i'll be like okay at least i did something successful today so the next day i can do something else like i'll always get to be pushing myself and you guys gotta do that too. Always be pushing yourself. Never be comfortable. Never be. Don't be lazy. Do something productive at least every single day. Trust. Many things don't happen overnight. Like in, in one week, not even in one week, not even in two months, not even in three months. Like then me, like if I didn't see it in one week or in a day, I'd be like, oh, this is not true. I gave up and done. That's it. But now I have realized that you gotta do this consistently, consistently. In over a year or two years, you will see some improvements. And you will see what you wanted. So. You guys, if you do something and you see no, like you see nothing coming out of it, keep pushing, guys. Because one of the days you're gonna see something, you're gonna be so proud, you're gonna be so happy that you actually stay consistent for the whole time. This one, Tatiana underscore one one underscore, and she said class of 2023, and yes, I'm a class of 2023. So I'm in my senior year. This is my last year. So I'm gonna be graduating next year, and that's just crazy. Like 2023 is like we're already in October, and already in November, December. January, February, March, April, May. Just seven more months till I get out of school. Do another Canadian video when I get out of high school. I can see if I really even change anything or if anything happened. Something better had changed. That's crazy, bro. All these years I've been in school just like for me to finally get out. This is crazy, bro. So let's see where life takes me from there. This question I got is from Danny311C. And he said, what made you get the editor cut? Back then, guys, I had a perm. And... I had to do it like every three months, I think every three months, I had to go to the store every single three months, pay, wait every single three months to get curls. And I was really, really hating that because also it was like a lot to take care of in the morning and at night, I really had to do like a lot. I was like, bro, I don't want to keep doing this. Also, I didn't feel like myself. I felt like a catfish. I was like, this is not real. Those curls are fake. Like I'm not myself and I just, I didn't like myself. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get the editor cut and let you see what happens. So I buzzed it off and let my hair grow out. And now, you know what? Yeah, that's why I got the Edward because I didn't want the perm no more and I wanted to do something that was actually my hair, my natural hair, whatever. So this is my natural hair and I feel confident because I'm not catfishing. And it's from, it's that kid Alex one and she also said, do you consider yourself famous even at least a little bit? I don't really consider myself like famous famous, but I guess known in my community as in my Hispanic community because I uh, so like a week ago not even some days ago the fair was around and when I went to the fair every single day I was taking pictures after pictures I even had crowds around me asking for pictures and it was like really really insane I was like bro that's crazy I really have people coming up to me asking for pictures so after that I felt like known you know like damn people really coming up to me asking for pictures that's just crazy that's just really really crazy I appreciate all the support that I get another question I can't really say the name but they asked where do you buy your bracelet? Go to some Mexican stores. That's really where they are, like the flea market, or you can go to like Mexican store, like where they have like cookies, food, whatever. And most of the time, they will have bracelets. That's what the ones I got. Guys, last clips were actually recorded like a month ago because my computer back there decided to die, and all my content got deleted. I had to re-edit everything again. Thank you guys so much for the patience. But as you can see, I'm getting better with the camera and used to talking to you guys the camera obviously my video is gonna get better and better the more i do this be patient with me i want you guys to go down below in the comments and let me know what kind of videos you guys want me to post because i haven't posted in so long but other than that i'm so close to half a million of followers on tiktok that's just so insane like who would have thought thank you guys so much for the love i wouldn't be where i'm at today without you guys so thank you so much for the support i love every single one of y'all and to the end of the video i love every single one of y'all